Barnett says we've got to get rid of her and make it look like an accident. Well, I've got some paint remover. I'll give her a whip of that, load her in the car, and turn her loose down the ramp. That'll do it. Who is a scorpion? Talk or I'll... I'll talk. I'll tell you anything. Well, let me loose. Well, he isn't here. Who is a scorpion? I don't know. I've never seen him. You take your orders from him, don't you? Don't you? Yes, but I... He always wears a mask. You've heard him talk? Yes. You could recognize his voice, couldn't you? I think so. All right, I can use you. Come on. I'm sorry about interrupting the meeting, Mr. Malcolm, but I have something very important to say to you. Every time we have a meeting, the Scorpion and his men know all our plans. 
It does seem that way. It is that way. The last time we met, Tal Chitali showed us a miniature, which he said he found. Dr. Lang said it might have come from the shop of Chan Lao in Chinatown. In Chan Lao's shop, I was attacked by the Scorpion's men, and I wouldn't be here right now if Captain Marvel hadn't rescued me. You know, all this is very disturbing, but do you think you should discuss it in the presence of an outsider? This man happens to be one of the Scorpion's men. One of you gentlemen should know him. Do you mean to imply that the Scorpion is here? Yes, right here in this room. This man's only seen the scorpion masked, but he knows his voice and he can identify it. Young man, are you serious? This is outrageous. Oh, it's utterly ridiculous. All right, Owens, you've heard them all speak now. Is one of them the scorpion? I don't know. But you said you could recognize the Scorpion's voice. Don't any of them sound like him? I can't. I thought I could, but I can't. You've only succeeded in insulting us all, Billy. And making a fool of yourself. I quite agree with you. All right, Fisher. It's all a clumsy bluff. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Malcolm. I really thought... Don't let it bother you, Billy. Only don't be so impulsive next time. I'll see that the whole thing is smoothed over before the next meeting. Thanks, Mr. Malcolm. Go on, you. What are you going to do with this man? Since he won't tell us who the scorpion is, there's only one thing left to do. I'm going to notify the police. Wait a minute. Don't call the cops. I'll tell you where I saw the scorpion. All right, I'm listening. He has a hideout in the old Harrison mine. Where is this mine? Can we get there today? Sure. It's back in the hills. I'll tell you where it is. Tell me where it is. You're going to show me where it is. I'll call you whenever I get some information. and work fast. Is the trap working all right? Just tested it. Can't miss. Good. Young Batson will never know what hit him. But what about Captain Marvel? He seems to appear every time Batson's in trouble. Don't worry, Barnett. I also have plans for our friend, Captain Marvel. With the power of these lenses, I can turn the inside of this mountain into molten rock. No one. Not even Captain Marvel can survive that. Here's how my plan will be carried out. That's it over there. Keep walking, Owens, and don't make any breaks.
What's the matter? I don't like this. I... Go ahead. Shazam! So you're the Scorpion. You expected to find me here, didn't you? Yes, but I don't believe you expected me. On the contrary, I'm prepared to receive you properly. I've waited a long time for this opportunity, and I'm going to find out who you are right now. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but you won't learn my identity now or ever. Fairly trapped, my friend. There are several hundred feet of solid rock all around you. And if you try to escape, you'll find not solid rock, but molten rock. Focus the beam directly into the mouth of the tunnel. 